Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today we would be covering ANS of matrix under this particular video. But before beginning, let me tell you, you might all be familiar with my voice by now on this channel. So I would request all of you to comment in the comment section which video you would like to get uh, be made on for, for the next video, right? So that I would get motivated that you all are watching my videos and you're liking my videos, right? So yeah, this was just, um, you can say, uh, announcement from my side that you can comment the problems you're facing on the particular topic. So we will cover that in the next particular videos, right? So yeah, let us now begin with of matrix. So what is of matrix? I, I would like to give a light on why this is called as of matrix. See, of matrix was Professor Ansoff, right? He was a professor in a university. He just realized that our business do not grow as easily we think, right? So he developed a matrix which show various strategies to how a business grows, right? So that is why this is called ANS of matrix. What is matrix basically? Matrix is a grid. So he has given a grid to us for two by two where 2 by 2 is 2 rows and 2 columns, right? So this was the matrix, basic matrix, which was given by Professor Ansoff, right? So yeah, let us understand what does this matrix say? See, this is basically matrix for products and markets. Why products and markets? Because these are the only two things ki, uh, you can say in which markets or what products we should use to grow our business, right? So this is basically a brief about the matrix right uh, so now on the horizontal axis i have taken products and on vertical axis i have taken markets right so my first quadrant is market penetration strategy this is my first strategy the second is market development strategy right the third is product development strategy and the fourth one is diversification strategies right we will cover each of these in detail with the help of examples as i give you example for each and everything so that you can have a detailed explanation for all of the quadrants in depth right so yeah let us begin with first strategy that is market penetration strategy see market penetration strategy is basic what is market penetration strategy it says see i have taken two examples uh, kurkure hamper and like uh, cadbury hamper you might be all familiar with these hampers these are the hampers which are basically gifted on diwali's or you can say raksha bandhan right these are the hampers offered by kurkure or you can say cadbury right so what do these products offer these these basically offer us the hamper in the sense they offer a price to the customer which is comparatively low if we take a single uh, product from them right so how do these firms do market penetration here they offer they have the existing they have an existing customer base and they have the existing product we all have eaten the chocolates and uh, like these kurkure right so we have the existing product and we have the existing market right from the existing product and existing market we are penetrating it by offering it in hampers right we are offering a lesser price comparatively if we take individual chocolate or you can say individual kurkure pack or you can say if not we are just penetrating our market to capture it as a whole right so this is you can say market penetration strategy this is our first strategy we will be moving to our second strategy which says the market development strategy uh, i'll show it in the graph see market development strategy here what is the thing here the markets are new newly formed but the product is existing so what does this mean we have this familiar product but we have a new market to capture on right so this is also called as new market market development or you can say new market right so i would give you the example for ikea or nike right ikea or nike why would i give you the examples for nike and ikea see ikea is a swedish company right so they were uh, basically uh, they were having a setup of having uh, assembling furniture goods right assembling furniture so you all must be aware about ikea ikea opened its first store in india in hyderabad right so why did they do so 
they had a very very grown up market there only in their country but when they realized that india also demands the assem- might demand also demands not you can say maybe there is a latent demand or they might demand this so they developed their ikea products in hyderabad so they first opened their store in hyderabad which was successfully run and now successfully running they have now new open newly opened store in noida too you can check it online so basically what are they doing they are developing their market right they are developing their market from one place to other the product is same assembling furniture right the first example is this and the second one is you can take nike right nike or you can say adidas too they have the same products they offer in every market but they change to new demographics right they have uh, now you can say grown up to chinese market more you can check online uh, that adidas and Ch- adidas and nike have moved to chinese market to capture a new market right let us now move to the third strategy which says product development strategy what does this mean see product development means basically let me show you the diagram again see product development means i am having a new product now right but market is existing in the existing market i am having a new product right i would say example of hindustan unilever limited or procter and gamble uh we all all are familiar with these two companies the biggest fmcg companies one of the biggest hindustan lever unilever limited and procter and gamble these two are the biggest fmcg companies right so basically they do what they have the existing customer base you all are aware about these two companies right they have a existing customer base what do they do basically they they usually uh produce new and new products but they have a customer base which is same the uh, the customers who are uh, up to procter and gamble will will stick to procter and gamble products only and hul will stick to hul only what do they do they do small minute vi- variations in their product or you can say they introduce their product newly to uh, capture a new market i'll give you example for dove you can say under hindustan unilever limited so what do uh, what does they do what do they do they do simply a uh, modification in their existing product so they can develop their product more newly uh, so they ca- can capture uh, their existing customer base again or you can say you can say uh, they are just capturing their existing market only with the new product right the same with the procter and gamble thing these are the brands basically you can see look have a look which are produced under hul right and the next is procter and gamble these are the biggest i am saying it again these are the biggest fmcg you can say companies and everybody is using their products more or less right so yeah you can take a example for nor to nor may we uh, we have a uh, hot and sore and you can say chinese tadka so they they can develop their uh, product by introducing chatpata masala in their variation as a variation in their product line you can say right so this is how they develop their product i can say so let us now move to our last and the most important strategy guys please focus on this on this one because this is the most important many a times question has been asked in ugc net about this strategy please 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 focus on this diversification strategy in detail right so what is that diversification strategy diversification can be of two types basically related or unrelated uh i'll give you a deep insight about this just a minute yeah so this is related or you can say unrelated see related in related one we match the potential energies for the two firms right and in unrelated ones also we match the potential synergies for the two ones but i'll give you examples i'll mention this with the help of examples but they are in related in the second one in the former one we do related diversification that means we uh, we uh, basically uh, you can say we sign our we synergize each other like related firms we uh, two related firms combine each other and this is called as diversification strategy the second one is unrelated where two unrelated firms combine each other to form the market to capture the market 
let us now see it with the help of examples see for first is the example for related diversification i have taken the biggest biggest examples that is first is tata and the second one is reliance let us first see tata see tata were earlier in the f car business right then the car or you can say motors business right now they uh, they saw that they are growing it growing this business re really rapidly so they switched to steel this is diversification that is related since steel is used in motors and cars right then they realize car, steel business is also growing then they do did a related uh, diversification again they they went in they did the diversification in paints you can say now they are in retail too right so i am just giving you this insight uh, i don't know yeah yeah i'm just saying i'm just giving you the examples to just show you how they are um, expanding their business uh, as a related diversification right they're just increasing their uh, share in the market by give, getting related uh, getting in touch with related uh, you can say businesses right uh, just same same goes with uh, reliance reliance were earlier in oil they uh, they processed uh, they first uh, extracted the oil then they mentioned they were in processing business i guess yeah and then they went to obviously telecom everybody is aware about so they were growing in oil then they went to processing then telecom so these were all related basically right these were related diversification this was the example for related one i would now switch to unrelated one this is the most most important in the sense you can think think of this in the sense you are in very very different business now you are planning for a very different business that is not at all related to each other right so let us move to unrelated what does this say and what is the example for this so biggest example is indian tobacco company itc why itc i have chosen itc because this is the biggest 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 success of itc they were earlier uh, processing or making tobacco they were into tobacco and drugs right uh then they switch to you can see then they switch to their next products of I itc we, which we all are using nowadays bingo mad angles everybody is aware about savlon you can say or you can uh, see fabele for like dressing yippy noodles or you can say ashirwad atta we we well for uh, you can say soap right so these are the uh, these are the you can say brands under itc covered under itc so this was the biggest example i can say for unrelated diversification i would mention i would like to mention this mention this thing that the diversification strategy is the most riskiest one since you have to think like you can say a thousand times to form a diversification since it is the riskiest one you have to think of in which business you should diversify right now there's one question from my side to all of you just listen to it carefully my question is is this possible that diversification can backfire you all as a company just give me the uh, answer for this question in the comment section i would be waiting for your uh, answer for this question in the comment section my question here is uh, i would i would be writing this here is diversification basically is diversification somehow back backfire to you can say is diversification somehow backfire a company too you can say so just mention yes or no as a answer in the comment section i would be waiting for your replies for this question so just uh, let me know then i'll tell you what i would meant to say from this question also we we are done with our four strategies biggest strategies as of now let me just give you one more review about the whole see we have uh, done all this four strategies right so i think you are all pretty aware about each of them i just want to make one thing more clear see when we move from left to right 
इट गोज मतलब यू कैन से वेन वी मूव फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट इट इंक्रीजेज आर रिस्क राइट एंड इफ वेन वी मूव फ्रॉम टॉप टू बॉटम इट ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेज आर रिस्क राइट सो इन दिस वे द रिस्क इज इंक्रीज फ्रॉम मूविंग लेफ्ट टू राइट एंड टॉप टू बॉटम राइट सो या सो by seeing the graph you can say diversification is the most riskiest one i have explained you why it is the riskiest one from among the all right so yeah because here obviously market is also new and the product is also new the biggest thing so yeah for now i am done with the uh, you can say ans of matrix just one more thing for the knowledge see i just want to mention you that these four strategies this is these are the best biggest strategies one of uh, one of the businesses can apply so that they can grow in the market right so this uh, can you just all give me a example who or you can say which is applying all the four strategies to capture the market i would give you the biggest example that is patanjali why i am giving you the example for patanjali can you think of it see they have applied each and every strategy to grow their business i would say they are into uh, market penetration strategy too they develop their product too they develop their market too and then they did diversification too so as of now for today in today's trend patanjali is the biggest example which has used all the four strategies so this is something which is knowledgeable to all of you so that you can remember this in the following trend in the uh, you can say existing trend which is the company which has followed all the four strategies that is patanjali yeah so now i am clear with the concept i hope you thank you for watching this video so yeah thank you also if you are liking my videos please give it a big thumbs up plus share as much as you can also if you are liking my videos and want new more videos updates from my channel so please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon thank you